Misha? Hi, I'm Ruby, your physiotherapist. Hi, Please Ruby. Please have a seat. How can I help you today, Misha? I've been having back pain for the past two weeks and it's killing me. I thought back pain only happens to old people. Well, actually, low back pain is a very common problem. It can affect as many as 80% of our population at some point in their lives. And out of this 80%, 10% will carry on to develop chronic symptoms. But I didn't fall or hurt myself. I don't carry heavy things and I exercise regularly. So why am I still having all this pain? There are actually many causes for low back pain, such as degenerative changes to the spine, traumatic injuries, and even poor posture. Then will I get better? The doctor said there's something to do with the L5-S1 being affected. What is it all about? Let me explain to you. The lumbar spine actually refers to our lower back, which consists of the spinal cord, as well as soft tissues such as the muscles and the ligaments. The main function of the lumbar spine and the surrounding muscles is to provide support as well as to transmit load from the upper body. Therefore, it is important for the lumbar spine to remain stable against the compressive and shearing forces against our everyday lives. There are actually five vertebrae in the lumbar spine which house and protect the spinal cord. Then, there is a disc in between each vertebrae. These discs are made of fibrous material and act like shock absorbers to help distribute the load of the body evenly. There are also muscles surrounding the back. These muscles work in synergy so that movements of the body can be carried out readily and efficiently. So you need to work on your posture, Ms. Chia, because poor posture adopted during our daily activities such as sitting, standing or walking with rounded shoulders, slumped upper back or slouched lower back can place unnecessary stress and strain on our joints and muscles. With prolonged periods, these unnecessary stress forces can cause early degenerative changes to our lumbar spine as well as muscle imbalances around the lower back, giving us pain, muscle ache, as well as increased risk of getting muscle injuries. Therefore, it's important to adopt good postural habits and do exercises to keep your back healthy. Some examples are, sit with your back supported to ensure good alignment of your spine, Avoid working in a slouch or slump position. Take regular short breaks to avoid long periods of continuous sitting or standing. This is to prevent a build-up of tension and stress in the joints and muscles around the lower back region. Ensure good back posture when you are lifting objects. That means bending your knees, not your back. Unless of course you have very bad knee pain too. Ensure good back posture when exercising or lifting weights. Many athletes suffer from back pain too. You should also try to engage in regular exercise such as walking or swimming at least 3 to 5 times a week as exercises keep our back healthy. However, do remember to consult your doctor first if you are new to exercise or if you have any health conditions. Lastly, if you are suffering from back pain, please consult your nearest doctor or GP. Do not suffer in silence. My name is Ruby and I'm from the physiotherapy team at the Singapore General Hospital. Hope you find these tips useful. Take care and have a nice day.